Hey, good morning, gang. What's going on? Thought I'd check in and uh, give you guys an update of what's going on with the airplane search. I think we might have a breakthrough here uh, that's pretty cool. And uh, we have uh, some access to a new technology that's come out recently. It's called LiDAR. It's light detection and ranging, it's called. And it's mounted, uh, in this case, uh, from an airplane. Now, this, this LiDAR system is typically used for surveying. And what it does is it, it gives you a very accurate uh, picture of the ground. So it will look through the trees, it'll look through the foliage, branches, all of that stuff, and basically paint what you can describe as a bare earth image. Now, if you have a bare earth image, which is kind of like the images you see on some of the, uh, the shipwreck uh, side scan sonar images, that airplane should show up. It's pretty big, even if it's in a, uh, if, even if it's broken up. Well, we hope. So the way uh, LIDAR works, it's got four parts to it. It's got a, 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 obviously the pulse, the laser pulse system that's sending out these uh, laser beams and those pulses are returning to the aircraft and getting analyzed by a computer. So uh, you have, uh, beyond the computer, you have a couple of other things that are working also. It's kind of a complex system. And that would be the uh, GPS system. We all know about GPS. So you can account for the position. You can account for the altitude of, of where those pulses are coming back from the ground very accurately. And then the last part is an uh, inertial system, so you can account for the uh, the pitch and the roll uh, of the aircraft, which is very important. So all these things put together uh, gives you, uh, and they they can fly this in wide, pretty wide swaths. So I'm really excited. The question is, how much detail can we get? Of course, the more detail you want the more it costs. Uh, we're typically talking about fifty dollars to $100,000 here to do a basic survey of a basic area of, I don't know, 25 square miles for a very detailed. We've got a much better number. It's not going to be as detailed, so it's going to be a little bit of a stepping stone process, and uh, we're experimenting. I mean, it's a lot of money we're going to throw out there for this, but um, we really don't have any other choice right now because you can't even hike in most of those areas. It's literally a jungle. I've been told by uh, people that have been searching and by people that have been uh, going by air, uh, first on the searchers, John, and some of others that have been in there, uh, we've all seen what that's like. And on the uh, flyover side, any uh, people like a guy named Bill Carr early on, a guy lately, uh, Craig Fuller, who's actually an expert in this kind of thing. He did a lot of work for us. Thank you, Craig and John and everybody else. And, and um, Bill is, uh, when you look down, you can't see anything. You, you can't see in most of these areas, you might be, you're lucky if you see 10 or 20% of the forest floor. So uh, the beauty of the LIDAR, it's gonna give us a bare earth image and like strip all that stuff away. Can you imagine it'll be like looking for a shipwreck on the bottom of the ocean, those side scan images you see. So uh, I, the biggest thanks I have to give is to the uh, White Mountain Apache tribe and their uh, attorney, um, Bob, who's uh, really, really done all the, uh, the backbreaking work on this. Uh, I haven't done a lot and I've, I've just, uh, they've connected us with these companies and we're gonna talk again today and see if we can get a deal squared away where they can literally go out this week. They have airplanes close by just for now, so I'm in a rush to take advantage of that. That's keeping the cost down because they happen to be this week on location very nearby. Uh, of course, the biggest part of any flight that you charter is uh, the longer the distance, the, the price skyrockets up. So, you know, jet fuel and all that other pilot time, it's very expensive. So I'll keep you guys posted and uh, should be exciting.